Hey guys, Stormy here with AndroidSpin.com. We're giving you a quick look at the Xperia S UI uh, that was <coughs> created, obviously, by Sony, um, but it was remodified and optimized for various Android devices uh, by Raw3Al. I'm not sure how you say the guy's name on XDA. Um, it comes in various packages, but it is all just APKs. Um, then you just simply install the home APK uh, along with the various widgets you know, that you may want, such as the clock, on off tools, photo widget, weather widget, and of course you'll need the weather widget picker uh, to install as well so that you can utilize the widgets. Um, we're running this on a Samsung Vibrant right now, which is running a custom built Android. 4.0.3, so ice cream sandwich ROM. I just went through, downloaded all the files I needed, and installed them one by one. So as you can see here, we're running the Xperia SUI right now. Now the clock widget's already uh, right here. And you can see it's got the cool little animations of when you move stuff and how it snaps. Uh, if you throw it in the garbage, it goes down in the trash can. Kind of a cool little user interface. Um, the camera, or the photo video app right here widget which you can uh, you know flip through all of the pictures that are on your device along with all of the videos and a really nifty little Rolodex style that I'm going for. Uh, the weather widget uh, I did install it but it doesn't let me change location so I imagine that it does update specifically off of GPS which I don't have turned on um, at the moment but it is there and available of course throw that away We'll go ahead and take a look at the on-off widgets. There we are. Quite a few widgets uh, installed on my device anyway from various applications. Down to the O's. Apparently I don't know my alphabet so well. Photos and videos, where to go? Tools. It's under tools. Alright, so you're in your tools section. You have 11 total widgets available. Um, the main one, of course, is a 4x2 uh, with all your quick access buttons. Uh, and then you can go through and choose uh, specific ones that you're looking for. GPS, airplane mode, um, various uh, single button toggles, if you will. I'll just add the big one here. Okay. And we can tap on it, see if it works. There we go, pops up all of it. So I can turn the sound on and off, uh, sync everything, uh, do do various things that we need. It's got the cool animations and graphics. Um, of course, we've got the app drawer, which gives you the app drawers, of course, which is all full of your applications. Uh, nothing new there. You can delete, remove, reorganize um, applications to where you want them. Drag them to the home screen, add them into your dock. Um, you know, standard UI type stuff, uh, but it's definitely a different user interface than any other devices have. So Sony's got a, a leg up as far as how they operate their their devices. Uh, it's kind of nice to see a different user interface on your phone if you're looking to try it out. It is all free of course so you can go pick it up uh, from the XDA developer site and, and get it a go for yourself on your device. So take care and hope you guys enjoy it.